Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, Chinese stocks has have actually reached a ridiculous level, right? Uh, $78 for Alibaba Group. That is very cheap. Huh? So, if you are not holding, okay, this is my recommendation, okay? If you are not holding any Chinese stocks, okay, you may want to, you know, buy, get some exposure to Alibaba or Tencent, right? Because they are trading at a ridiculous level, okay? When you look at the P.E. ratio, you, it looks expensive, right? But look at the cash flow. The cash flow is... Uh, uh, FCF is a uh, capex right minus that okay so, so they just invested money in this business right so the capex uh, uh, PPE purchase and sale okay usually this okay so they are they are they are they, are, they just uh, they are they are uh, latest right 2021 results are actually uh, pretty damn good okay uh, well I still believe that you know this this company is still an amazing company right although the income statement uh, if you take a look right uh, you can see a uh, deteriorating right the gross profit more or less stay the same but if you take a look at the pre-tax income, okay, there's something wrong with this, right? Okay. So, uh, yes. There is uh, definitely some deterioration. Okay, you may want to take a look at other stocks, right? Uh, JD, right? Pintoto, and uh, what's the other one called? Uh, Ten cents. Uh, Baidu, okay. So, what I believe, right? You some exposure is okay not bad but i will not recommend more than five percent in chinese stocks okay not only one chinese stock when you take let's say maybe you buy baba five percent you buy wechat five ever ten cents five percent you buy another uh, jd five percent don't do that okay the total okay my recommendation is not more than five percent because this is considered speculative at the moment okay it's cheap but i still consider it speculative okay why am i considering it speculative because the government basically it's like uh, you 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 dating uh, two girls right okay there's an american girl and there's a chinese girl right the american girl is wasn't that nice to you last time okay but you know as time goes by the american you are dating two girls right let's say chinese girl and uh uh american girl okay so two girls are chasing you okay because they want you to uh, okay and uh, the american girl wasn't that nice last time right because there were many other guys chasing her so she's like a bit aloof, you know, a bit stuck up. When you call her, she doesn't really, you know, she takes, uh, she doesn't really want to talk to you. You can see, feel it in the voice, okay? But now, okay, suddenly, okay, uh, 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 she's not that hot anymore. The guys that were chasing her, you know, don't want to chase her anymore, okay? They just, you know, so she has less guys calling her and chasing her, okay? So the American girl now, is much nicer to you much more responsive to you okay chinese girl has always been nice okay but uh chinese girl has a parent right her parent is more her dad like this is uh, from adam Koo's uh analogy right her dad is you know very controlling right so everything has to go according to uh his wishes if she doesn't like you he will kill you off if, if he doesn't like the daughter he will just uh, uh lock down the daughter at home don't let her out so you cannot date her you cannot even marry her i think eventually right in the future okay so the american uh, girl's parent is you know uh very open and uh, he lets you do whatever she wants right and uh you know as long as you respect her wishes 
and you know you 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 can get married okay if you want to okay but it's free free it's free okay so right now the way i look at it right if you want to compare which girl is better okay obviously it's the american girl right we're talking about the tech sector okay the american tech versus chinese tech okay i will definitely choose the american girl right why because the valuation okay is good now the valuation makes sense now okay uh the chinese girl the parent is just you know too controlling for me right it's like you know if you marry her next time you have to follow her wishes and all that her dad's wishes and all that right so there's kind of a culture culture shock right culture shock okay so you're gonna ask me right so which one which one really i mean as a guy right you will definitely be more interested in the chinese girl 100 percent and not a chinese girl sorry the, the 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 american girl right because you look at her and she's nice now she's kind now you know uh uh her dad and her mom is very open very outgoing you know you can lead your life with her okay but the chinese girl is more to you know you gotta follow her dad's wishes on how you're gonna live your life right and uh her dad is also very controlling right the chinese girl very controlling so basically she has to do whatever her dad's want right there's a guideline she has to follow whereas the american girl right do whatever you want as long as you follow the law okay so uh, uh uh which one would you take would you pick as a potential girlfriend okay well obviously the american girl right okay even she's not as nice to you as the chinese girl okay okay nice means you know uh, the valuation and all that stuff right okay i'm just analogy right but her parents won't just suddenly come in and kill off the relationship okay so definitely american tech stocks in my honest opinion is a better buy than chinese tech stocks right i mean people want to sleep sleep uh sleep well right at night they don't really want to uh you know uh they don't really want to you know fear what's gonna happen tomorrow uh, uh will the father will her dad you know uh come in and tell us to uh uh uh, uh, uh cut off the relationship stop the relationship you know stuff like that right okay uh so the question now is whether uh you want what is you what do you really want do you want uh now why do i still own chinese stocks then right why do i still own them okay uh as a hedge right if anything happens to the us dollar okay i still have somewhere it's some kind of uh what do you call that uh a diversification okay a hedge <laughs> now uh, i'll be honest uh, with you guys right the potential return for the chinese stock is actually higher 
Okay. Potential return for the Chinese stock is actually higher. Why do I say that? Uh, because it's more undervalued, in my honest opinion. Okay. In my honest opinion, it's more undervalued. Okay. So the Chinese girl's debt is the supplier of the American girl's debt business. Right? Because uh, it runs a trade surplus, right? Chinese, China runs a trade surplus with the USA. So the relationship between these two is not very nice right now. Okay. It's not very nice. Okay. And uh, that's that's the thing that's causing the the, the 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 you know the value of the Chinese stocks to be so much lower than the value of the uh, American stock. Okay, so right now crude oil has fallen right back to where it was. Okay, so I always stress this, right, guys. Uh, commodities, uh, they are cyclical. Why am I still holding uh, crude oil producers? Okay, number one, I believe that uh, the current American administration doesn't have what it takes to actually uh, increase supply. Their policies are not geared towards energy production. Okay, their policies are geared towards uh, production of alternative clean energy. And oil and gas is not one of them. Okay. A gas actually yes, but oil no. Okay. Now, uh, why did crude oil fall? Okay. So, uh, they are falling because of uh, the war. Everybody is assuming that, okay, uh, we're going to sell now before the news come out that the war is over, right? So, it's, it's okay. When the news come out, the oil may actually rise, right? So, everybody is covering now. Everybody bought those that bought before, they already cover. Oh, sell, 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 sell. We want to cover, we want to cover, we want to cover. They're going to make peace. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, secondly, okay. The second part of a Chinese stocks, right? Okay. Uh, the Chinese dad's business is not doing very well because he invested too much in. A uh, property, right? And the property has a a bubble that's going on now, right? Okay. And furthermore, there's a COVID uh, pandemic that's going on there. Okay. So yes. So there is some sort of A and B and C. Okay. Uh, when Russia comes into place, definitely much much more complicated, right? So the question is whether the Chinese debt will piss off the American debt, you know, for helping the uh, 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 Russian debt. Okay. So the Russian debt is a, 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 a gangster. Okay, he just attacked another place, right? Which the American debt told him not to do it. Don't do it. So he attacked. So the American debt froze all the business with the Russian debt, right? And call all his friends to, guys, we need to stop business with this gangster. This is a gangster. He's going to attack you. We need to punish him. Okay, we need to cut off his pants so he stop uh, attacking other people, right? This is what's happening, right? So everybody's looking at the Chinese debt. Will the Chinese debt 
help the Russian there. Okay. And the Russian dad, Russian dad's daughter is actually, you know, they are, she is, she's closed, right? <laughs> you cannot, you cannot date her. You cannot date her, you cannot call her, you cannot do anything. Until now, right? For a while. She has been closed for a while after the attack. Okay? So she's been closed for about two weeks. You cannot contact the Russian girl at all. Okay? Uh, you cannot call, you cannot video call, cannot anything, cannot do anything. Right? Uh, <laughs> now, uh, would I dare to buy a, 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 a gas prom? Right? Yes, okay, I, I, I would dare to buy this. Right? Why am I uh, would dare to buy a, a, a gas prom uh, and all the other oil companies? Uh, simply because, right? Uh, fossil fuels matter. Right? Everybody uses them. Everybody buys them. So even if the American dad piss off, uh, uh, pisses him off, you piss off American dad, right? American dad tell all his allies, stop buying uh, 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 Russian products, right? The, the the question will be, you know, there will be some other people out there, you know, maybe from country A, country B, country C, from sort of Southeast Asian countries, or maybe from the India, or maybe from other places, they will just say, hey, uh, uh, you know, Russia, if we want us to buy from you, we want a 10% or 15% discount. Okay. Because your buyers, we are facing a risk of incurring the wrath of the American debt. Right? We don't want to lose our business with him. Right? So, uh, uh, you know, can you please, you know, give us a discount because we are taking a lot of risk, you know. We know the market price right now is 98. Maybe we want maybe 20% or 30% discount, right? So that's what's going to happen. Okay, because incurring a risk, okay. Uh, that's why China stock has been falling for a while. Okay, so you have to know the geopolitics in this. So, right now, everything is falling. Uh, it's going back to where it's supposed to be. Okay, I am only invested may about 50% of my cash, my portfolio money. Will I still invest more? Definitely, I'm going to buy more um, uh, Facebook. I'm going to buy more PayPal. I'm going to buy more this and that, this and that. I'm going to buy all of them, right? Uh, I'm going to buy Google. I'm going to buy a lot of stuff. Why am I buying so much stuff? Am I crazy? Uh, no, I'm not crazy. It's just that I feel that, you know, uh, if you're going to leave your money as cash, okay, when all the stuff, inflation is happening, you're going to lose out more. Right? You're going to lose out more. Okay? You're going to lose out more if you hold your money as cash. This is one of the truths, right? So, commodity prices have gone up really high. And, oh, crude oil actually went down so much in one day. That's crazy, you know. Commodity prices have gone up a lot. Okay, but uh, uh, stocks like a uh, Vichy, uh, a lot of stocks, they they actually came down. Okay, so it's weird, but they actually came down. Oxy was crazy. This is overpriced at sixty dollars. 
there are many other uh, better options to buy than oxy so what what if you were me what would you buy right so if it was me i will buy property stocks right now because property stocks like mpw um, mac vici okay uh i have i own vet by the way okay uh all those stocks right and 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 triple n i believe that the value of them you know will go up okay so it's a cigar bad play basically the value of the property will go up that's it okay i believe in buying stocks like tech paypal right facebook okay facebook is just uh stupid cheap now honestly speaking uh alibaba okay i, I think alibaba is cheap okay uh, Groupon, Groupon is cheap considering uh, it has uh, shares in sum up, right? It is actually about uh, there is a lot of people say it's worth about half of this value, about 250 more, 250 million, right? Bloomberg value at 500 million, but I'm gonna value at 250. So you gotta buy this thing for about 280 million, okay? That's pretty good, right? A company that earns about 100 million you're gonna buy it for 280 million is that cheap yeah that's cheap right so at the end of the day right the opportunities like this do not come that easily okay you gotta you know hey guys you gotta take these opportunities right and eat them right take them Take the risk. You're not gonna buy a lot of stocks in 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 in, in a lot of uh. You're not gonna buy one stock, right? It's not risky, right? You're gonna buy many very different kind of stocks. You're gonna spread the risk, right? Okay. You're gonna spread the risk, right? Some in this, 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 right? Okay. Some in Entero, okay, some in T, okay, Entero now is expensive. I wouldn't buy something that's already expensive now. Why would I want to buy something expensive? I want to buy something cheap, okay, remember that, guys. Okay, don't be, don't, 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 don't be the guy that comes in late and like, okay, cheer people on, no, okay. If you notice after all this uh, stuff came out, all this war, after all the crude oil prices went up dramatically, I never recommended you to buy commodity stocks. Okay, please. Right? And I don't make videos every day. Okay? Because I don't sell courses. I don't make money from the ads. I'm not like financial education channel, you know, the Jeremy, right? Always make videos every day as in, as entertaining as possible. Okay, my English not that good. My presentation style is not that good. I suck at presentation. I suck at making YouTube videos, right? But my advice, right? My, my, my opinions, right? They are free, okay? And so far, they have been making me money, okay? And the purpose of this video is actually just, you know, I like to talk to people. I like to share my ideas, right? My ideas could be wrong. Okay, do your own research. I'm not, this is all, whatever I'm saying, they're just, they're just opinions, not, not financial advice. Do your own research always. Never believe in one guy, right? Now, the war in Russia, okay, why is everybody thinking that the war uh, in, in Ukraine is going to be over? Do you know what they are attacking now? Mariupol, right around there. 
right? So they took Lugans, they took Donetsk. This is the place where there is a lot of gas resources. One more is here, the sea, right? The Crimea Sea. Okay. So I already said this before in my previous videos. Maybe I haven't posted them. I sometimes make videos, but I don't post. They are going to take, try to connect this. Okay. They're going to want to take over the north of Crimea because they need the water supply. Okay. They need the water supply. So they're going to, they're going to hit this place as hard as possible to gain access to the water. There's a road here. They're going to hit this place as hard as possible to get the water. So water one, right? Second place they're going to hit Odessa. Why Odessa? Okay. There's a port here that's worth taking. Right? There's a port here that's worth taking, right? And it's more or less very near to this place. So they're going to take this place and they're going to take this place, this, two, this area, right? They want to connect Donetsk, Luhansk and all this. It's going to be harder to, to, to defend because the area is bigger. But, you know, it's, this is uh, where the gas reserves are coming from. Luhansk, Donetsk, Mariupol, Melitopol, Berdansk, and uh, Odessa. Okay. So, uh, how do I say this? Uh? Once they secure those areas, the war is more or less... I think Russia has achieved their, one of their main objectives. Okay. Uh, the main objectives is actually, in my honest opinion, capturing all these places with good uh, shale reserves, shale, natural gas, and oil reserves. Okay. Luhansk, Donetsk, Crimea, and Odessa. Here. And this place, okay. Cold cover, okay. Cold cover to get the water, okay. So once they secure this area, they get water. They can, they can irrigate all their areas, really. right? They are safe. So they really need to secure this area, okay. Uh, the war is probably gonna take another one or two weeks more, or three weeks, okay. And they're not, they are not, okay. I'm just saying, repeat this. They are not aiming to take over the whole Ukraine. Okay. Why are they attacking Kiev? Why are they shooting here, shooting there, blindly and all that? Okay, they want to force a surrender. No, not surrender. No, not force a surrender. But they want to force a ceasefire term. Okay. And if they are not, if this guy doesn't take a ceasefire term, right, by the end of the day, this place will be destroyed. Okay, prolonged war will destroy a nation. We saw that. What we saw what happened, right? Uh, in a lot of places, we saw what happened in a lot of places. Okay, and at the end of the day, right, the guy who is holding the Ukrainian power, he will lose power definitely. Okay, eventually he's going to lose power. Okay, prolonged attack will make you lose power. Okay, prolonged war will make you lose power. Most people. At the end of the day, they don't want war. They need to live, right? Uh, I do not exactly condone the attack. But, you know, at the end of the day, okay... I believe that uh, we should live in peace now, you know. This is not the time for us to be fighting. We have an epidemic going on all around the world. We haven't even solved that yet. Okay, right? The virus is still uh, mutating here and there. Why the fuck are you fighting in this place, man? Come on, okay? Don't be such an asshole, okay? That's what I'm thinking, okay? You haven't solved one shit and you try to, you know, do a lot of other, 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 other nonsense crap here and there. I mean, uh, the world is in trouble and you, at this, in, in this, ah, uh, man. 
during this time instead of solving the problem you go and attack another, your neighbor oh my god that is very opportunistic okay opportunistic anyways that'll be all for today's two video uh hope you have a nice time okay thank you very much